Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about the Jenkins pipeline and I'll show how we can create a new project as pipeline in Jenkins. In my previous videos, we have seen how to create a freestyle project in Jenkins to run the automation test. But now we'll see how we can create a pipeline project to run the test. Unlike freestyle projects, where we have to create separate build steps in the project, the pipeline, we only need to create a pipeline script to add all steps of the build. So pipeline provides all the build steps as code based on the pipeline language syntax. And the best part of it, that we can even commit the pipeline script to the source control repository instead of having all the build steps as part of Jenkins project. We can have all steps scripted in pipeline and then checked into the repository. I'm going to discuss all these advantages as we move forward. First of all, let's create a new item. Here you can see the different types of options available while creating a new project. Earlier, we choose a freestyle project where we have added different build steps. But this time, I'm going to choose the pipeline as project type. Here, let me provide the project name. I'm naming it as Pipeline Demo. You can provide any name, there is no restriction on it. And choose the project item type as Pipeline before clicking on the OK button. Now you can see the new pipeline has been created. And here we have three tabs under configuration. One is general, Second one is advanced project option, and the third one is for the pipeline. In the pipeline project, we are going to create the build steps as a pipeline script. We are not going to add the different build steps as you are doing in the freestyle project. Here, we will be writing the pipeline script and will add different stages and different steps to create our build. For example, what you can do, you can select the sample pipeline from here. There are some sample pipeline scripts already provided in the Jenkins. You can choose any of the available sample pipeline code. Here, if I select pipeline hello world, it provided the sample script to print the hello world into the console. This is the syntax how we need to create the pipeline script. First of all, we need to start the script with the pipeline keyword and followed by the curly bracket. And after that, we need to provide the agent name. If you want to run this on any specific agent or node, then you need to provide the agent name here. To get to know more about adding a node or agent into your Jenkins server, you can watch my previous video. The link is given in the description and on the I button above. Now let's say you don't have any agent connected with your Jenkins server then you can continue with the value as any. After that, we need to provide the keyword as stages. The pipeline is divided into different stages. So we'll add different stage under the stages block. Here, it contains only one stage as hello, and under this stage, we have one step available. So this is the structure which we need to follow. First of all, we need to create the stages block under the stages, we need to create the stage, and then under the stage, we need to create the steps. And then under the steps, we need to add the build step in pipeline syntax, which is basically responsible to perform the build operation. So here we have only one step, which is responsible for printing the hello world into the console. So this build pipeline contains only one stage and one step. But when we create our actual build pipeline, then there will be multiple stages or steps. For example, the one stage could be the cleanup of the repository, then another stage could be the build project, and then another could be the running test. So there could be different stages based on your requirement. Here, if I choose another sample script, GitHub plus Maven, then you can see there is another keyword is used to install a dependency. And here in these stages, 
you can see the first stage is related to the build where we are going to build the project and to build the project it is going to perform the different steps the first step is the git clone this is going to copy the code from the git repository and after that it is going to run the maven command to build the source code then under the post log if the build is successful then it is going to archive the jar file from the target folder so this is how we can create different stages and steps in pipeline script now i'll show you how we are going to create a build pipeline to run our automation test let me first open the existing freestyle project to show you how the freestyle projects look like when we are going to run our test and then we'll see how we can convert it to the pipeline project let me go to this automation and unit project and then i'll go to the configure here you can see the build details in the freestyle project we have these multiple options available under the configuration while in the pipeline we have only three options let me go to the build steps here we can see the first build step is to clean the project then the next one is to run the test so there are two build steps one is to clean the project and then the second one is to run the test then the next step which is actually a post build action in this we are using an allo report plugin to integrate the allo report with jenkins by providing the result path and then the last one is to integrate the end unit test result xml so we are publishing the end unit test result report as well as part of this build pipeline so two types of reports we are integrating with jenkins one is the allo and the other one is the end unit test result report if i go to the project here you can see that we have the allo report available for the last execution and then we have the end unit test result added as part of test result trend where we can see the list of passes and failures based on the executed build number now i'm going to create the pipeline to run our test so let me move to the pipeline project here i'm going to leave this agent value as any because i don't want to run it on a specific node i'll later discuss the use of the agent node in one of my next videos and then under the stages our first stage will be to clean the project in this stage we are going to perform the dotnet clean operation now let's say at this stage if you are confused that you don't have any idea that how to write these steps in pipeline syntax for a specific build operation then you don't need to worry jenkins provided the solution for this as pipeline syntax generator if i move to the original project then here we can see we have used dotnet plugin to clean the project but now we need to find the pipeline syntax for the same step to get the pipeline syntax of a build step you can click on this link here this is going to help you to generate the pipeline script for different types of steps here i look for my build step which i want to perform this is what i want dot net clean here i need to provide the project or solution path for the rest of the fields i'm going to use the default values project path was the only mandatory field for this build step and now let me click on this generated pipeline script the moment i click on this button you can see that it has provided the pipeline script which we can use in our project now i'll copy the syntax and then we'll paste it under the stage dotnet clean dotnet clean is the command and then here we have to provide the project location we are done with creating one stage then the next stage after dotnet clean would be to build the project so let me add another stage here now to get the pipeline syntax for this step 
again we can go to the script generator and I'm going to choose the .NET build option from the list. Here, let me copy the project path and then let me click on generate pipeline script. So now we can add this pipeline syntax into our step. We can create different stages or as part of .NET Clean, you can add the multiple steps as well. This will also work perfectly fine. If you want both steps to be part of the .NET Clean stage, then you can keep both these steps under this stage. But if you want both to be part of different stages, then you can create different stage. Creating different stage will help you in debugging the pipeline in case there are any issues. You can directly go to a particular stage instead of having a different steps in these stages. You can divide your steps into different stages or you can add them into one. It totally depends on how you want to structure your pipeline. Now the next stage I want to create is for running the test. And for that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a stage name test run. And under that, I'm going to create a step. Now here in the script generator, I look for the .NET run test option. These values are automatically available here because I have installed all those required plugins already in Jenkins. So based on that, I'm getting all these options here. Whatever plugins you have installed in your Jenkins project, for all those plugins, you will find these steps available under the pipeline syntax. Now, let me copy the test and syntax to the pipeline. Again, the syntax is almost the same. The command is .NET test. Here, it was clean. Then, we build the project. And then, we are running the test. So, the pipeline has been created to run our test. Now, first of all, let's save this project. And then, I'll run it. Because we have created a pipeline project, so here we are getting this stage view. We won't be getting this stage view into the freestyle project. You can see there is no stage view available. Stage view is available in the pipelines because we have created our build steps in different stages. We'll be getting the status of different stages over here. Now, let me run it to show you how different stage will be available here once the build is executed. I have triggered the build, and now let's wait for the execution to be completed. Here you can see that the first stage is running. That is the .NET clean. It's showing the current status, or if you want to see the logs, then you can click on the logs, and it will show you the logs of this particular stage. Here you can see the stage name, and this is the progress of that particular stage. You can see that the first stage is successfully done. And now the second stage is running, which is .NET build. This stage took around 23 seconds, and now this stage is running. Once it is done, then it will further move to the next stage, that is a test run. Here, if you click on the logs, then it will show all the logs generated. Now the second stage is also done. You can see that it successfully executed and now the third stage is running. That is the final stage of our pipeline. In this stage, all the test cases available in our project or framework will execute. The moment all the test cases will be done, then we'll get the status of this stage as well. So let's wait for the test run to get completed. Now the test run stage is also successfully done. And if you see the logs, then these are the logs here. If you see, then we have six test cases executed in total, and all six were passed. So this is the current status of the test which we have executed. This way, you can create your Jenkins build pipeline, and then you can run your test. In my next video, 
we'll see how we can create the post build step in the Jenkins pipeline. And then we'll also see how we can perform the different operations like get clone to get the code from the source code repository. So that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.